do 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 Hmm. What do we have out here? What? Oh! Oh! Oh, hello, guys. Jason here. So, I just wanted to pop on real quick and make a... Uh, I don't know, just say, hey, what's cracking? It's been a while since I've talked to you guys. What I want from you guys, though, is the Knife Whisperer has talked about a new series he wants to do. And, um, it doesn't have to be stuff about knives, although that's always good, because this is a knife channel. It could be, uh, well, <laughs> what do you think I like? Scary stories. I want to hear some of your true scary stories. You send them to me, and I will keep you anonymous if you would like. And um, me and the knife licker will go over it, and maybe we'll feature it. But can you guys do that for me? Do it. Do it. Or I will find you. Anyways, I love you guys. Peace. Dun 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 <laughs> What's up guys? Knife Licker here. That's right. Again? Okay. Hmm. Tastes good. Today, bang, we've got the Hinderer Half Track Bowie. Oh boy. I think it's uh, no secret that my favorite blade shape is the Bowie. Um, I have, whenever a Bowie pops up, in any model, that's always going to be my favorite. I don't know why, I've just always been drawn to the Bowie shape. I think maybe it just goes back to um, maybe Crocodile Dundee, that big Bowie knife that he had. I mean, that there, guys, was a sick knife. Remember when the guy, they're like getting mugged or something, and the girl's like, he's Mick, he's got a knife. And he's like, no, oh, that's not a knife. That's a knife. And the guy pretty much crapped his pants. Yeah. That's because it was a Bowie. If it was any other shape, he probably would have been like, eh, it's a big knife, but whatever. So, back on track. The Hinderer Half-Track Bowie. This is an exclusive through USA Made Blade. And um, the Half-Track platform is pretty much all the same as... I mean, they just keep doing different uh, exclusives with different... And they're just different blade shapes. There was a, a Warren Cliff. Uh, there was a, um, I think it was a, what was it, like a, just a spear point one. And then there, now there's this one being the Bowie. And this one is, like most of them, in 20 CV. You have your titanium frame lock. This is the bronze, they call it, Hendra calls it the battle bronze. And, uh, it's just a great finish. But... I'm sure if you guys can see it oh yeah right there see that scratch that broke my soul in half so um when I got this knife it's really stiff okay uh, so it's really easy to fail because the pivot on this thing is cranked down I mean, you can, I can just tell. I mean, after you've handled so many knives, I mean, you can tell what, what's going on here. This thing is just cranked, cranked shut. Um, you have to really give it some gas for it to, uh, for it to deploy all the way. So, I mean, I didn't expect this to really be like a drop shutty knife anyways. I mean, it's a, you got a small blade here. I mean, this is only a 2.9 inch blade. You have like a two and a half inch cutting edge here. And, uh, it actually, this thing does actually get pretty thin behind the edge. I measured it at about 22,000, so that's decent. And it's still a 4 millimeter blade stock. Um, I love Hinder's jimping here. This stuff is nice. Really good. And, um, anyways, so I was trying to loosen this pivot. And you can see that, what do they call that, a, um, a, a spanner. I guess it's called a spanner tool? or spanner bit that you use in this. And I bought a set that had three in it. And um, by looking, I saw, thought the bigger one in the set would easily fit this. Come to find out, it was still a little too small. Like it would clear, it's, it's, it's like two prongs, 
and then they, you know they, there's like a cutout in between that would go where the screw would go in between so it was a little too small so I just used this tried to get a small screw driver in one end here and um and then I took a penny and put it in on this side because I didn't want to mar it up and as I was trying to turn I slipped with the screwdriver and instantly like my heart just went Ooh! I knew right then that I had scratched it and yeah so I have that absolutely wretched scratch up here now and um but I guess um I, <laughs> I have a tendency to get knives in say I love them and then two weeks later sell them I guess a lot of us do that lefty is like really really guilty with that um but um I get it you know you're trying to make room for the next one and you got to sell some stuff you know we're not all made of money so you do what you got to do to get the next one but um now it kind of makes me doesn't force me to keep it but I, I'm more apt to keep it now because now I have to say it's scratched I'm gonna have to knock money off of it blah 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 and um, maybe I will actually use this knife I actually plan on using this knife now this thing is made to work right guys I mean it's a hinderer look at how beefy all the hardware is Look at those standoffs. Those things are ridiculous. And you can just feel when when you have it in hand, even being a small small knife, I can still get all four fingers on. So your three fall in here. And then your fourth lands nicely on here where this jimping is. So I don't know if I can show you guys. And I do have large, large size gloved hands. So boom, boom, and then this one falls nicely there and I don't feel too cramped I mean obviously you're kind of limited on the different holds you can do but this is fine you know and then you can put your hand up here and you have that nice scallop there from the clip point it works out good there you know you can do some nice some nice slicing and uh it does have a fuller in it that you cannot use and I don't even if you could with the way this thing is cranked down no way man you're gonna break your fingernails clean off but, um, so I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and just order the uh, tool so I can loosen this pivot a little bit. Um, this is, as you can see by the symbol on the flipper tab there, the Triway Pivot System. So what that is, I'm sure all of you have heard of it by now, you can um, take this knife apart. And he includes bronze washers, you have your Teflon, and it bearings. The bearings come in it. And, um, I mean, don't get, this thing is definitely still smooth. It's just, I have got to, uh, loosen this pivot. And, um, I offered to send this out through the, uh, Black Widow pass around group. You know, there's a lot of us in that. And, um, I want to get that fixed before I send it out to those guys. Just so they can, you know, just have a little bit better action, I guess. So they don't all hate on it. Because it's still my baby. And even then, with it not being drop shutty, I still have a lot of fun playing with this knife, you know? Just the feel of a hinderer in your hand is just like, you can just feel the quality go through your hand and up your arm and then down and down and we'll leave it right there. It's good. It's really good. But yeah, just wanted to uh, get you guys a review on this beautiful hinderer half track Bowie. It is six and a half inches overall. And it's just over 4 ounces. I think it's 4.1 ounces. And, um, yeah. This is a great little beefy tank of a knife. Um, so if you're one of those guys that needs a nice heavy-duty folder, but you don't want to carry around a big brick, and uh, you don't need like a 3.5, 4-inch blade, here you go, right here. They aren't cheap, $425. And um, they're going fast. USA Made Blade, I think, only has a couple left in stock. He usually does a couple runs, though. So um, if you miss him this time, you know, I'm sure he'll do another run. And I bet if he does it, if you hound him, he will. You know, he seems like a great guy there. Um, very fast sh shipping, USA Made Blade, guys. I can't recommend them enough. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this beauty. And, as always, love you long time. Peace.